Hello and welcome back to Hadi Fikram Learning Resources. Uh, in this problem scenario of CCA 159, uh, Cloud Era Data Analyst exam will be working on the partitions related things. So, this is also part of the exam syllabus. So, you need to understand what exactly the partitions and how it is being used, correct? So, what question is asking is create a static partition table this is static correct there are two type of partition one is static partition and other is dynamic partitions so you can read more details about the partitions or uh, this below we have given a ex dis, uh, ex explanation quite in detail so you can go through this explanation as well okay so now cr uh, what it is asking like create a static partitions and in each partitions there are two partition you need to create one is a uh, values which is 8999 below uh, 9000 and one is up 9000 and 9000 and above and load the uh, data accordingly from the orders table okay which we have already created so uh, this is the syntax of the creating the partition table and also it says like all the fields must be separated by the tilde when you store the data that needs to be separated by the tilde okay so now this is the query which we have written and uh, so let me go here and the create table static partitions must be created like this create table very similar syntax I have given Hadoop exam static partition name of the table and this is the course ID joining date when the jo join of the date and uh, uh, user ID and is user active or not correct so this kind of thing and a partition by the order ID column and we will be creating our uh, two partition in this okay so so row, row format delimits is a of our each values tilde and stored as a text file we want to store this as a simple text file so there are multiple ways how you want to store the files like orc file parkwit file kind of thing so you, they might ask you to do the compressions compress the data as well as so you need to be aware with the syntax as well so let me copy this query and create the table okay so we have not yet created a partitions now we have just created a table and this is the table uh, just copy and uh, do the select star from this table there is nothing uh, as such in this correct so empty table would be written empty results would be written now we have to alter the table to add the static partitions okay so we will be adding the alter table Hadoop exam static partition add partitions so this is the order ID and uh, this is Hadoop static partitions order ID equal to 9000 so we'll be adding this two partitions so static partition you can add multiple static partition based on the date based on the some sequence or something so here we are using the order ID color now copy the data uh, from the uh, he orders one table uh, and then from the he orders two table uh, sorry where order id is less than 9000 store in the static partitions uh, of uh, what i'd say as uh, this is the select statement and uh, insert into the static partitions where partition id is this and then above 9000 so this way we will store the data into the static partitions okay So in my case the HE orders table is already been created in your case if you follow the sequence of the questions and it is suggested you go uh, in the sequence of the questions so whatever the table we are referring here is already been created and so like HE orders once we have created in previous problem solution uh, correct so this just insert statement I'll fire this and it should go into the partitions of where order ID equal to 8999 okay so very plain st insert statement uh, which is very fast and now this is another partition sorry which is uh, like greater than 9000 uh, order ID now just select the data uh, like from the partition so it is just a partitions we have created and there is no specific difference you can see but if you really want to see the like my partition have been created or not so let's go to the hue and open the file browser uh, hue and uh, I'll open the file browser just wait it is taking a little longer and just started the browser that's the reason go to the file browser ignore this warning or error go to the file browser tuck, tuck, tuck. please load ok 
okay user cloud era and that is under the warehouse directory that should be user hive and we has to be warehouse directory and in the warehouse directory we have hadoop exam 1.db or hadoop exam db okay in this there has to be a table name static partition should be created and static partition has two folder created here you can see for each partition there is a one uh, data file is there the which we have uh, created using the order tables and even you can see fields are separated by the tilde sign which is mentioned and is stored as a text file so you can easily see so similarly another partitions where the order ids is above 9000 correct so this is you can see here this is the order id 9000 and above is a stored here in this file so that is what we mean static partition so we'll be moving data into the specifically moving the data into the static partition we are saying like go de insert data in this partition it that's like hive is not uh, finding out like in which partition we have to push the data it's th it that if if a hive has to find that in which partition data needs to be moved that is known as a dynamic partitioning so this is static partitioning where user is telling push the data in this particular partition so this is like a static partition is very useful when you are having a um, uh, external tables already being created so that's all about this uh, problem scenario 23 so thanks thanks for watching and it, we have also dynamic partitioning as a next example so you can complete this example so and if you're watching this on youtube don't forget to subscribe and also don't forget to subscribe using here this uh, url because uh, whenever we update add new questions or any updates or new launch or we do something you will be get you get notified by us so Thanks, thanks for very much and I will be focused more on and more and more on this technologies. So we will get uh, more comfortable, we will move to the more advanced topics. So keep uh, be uh, like tune with us con continuously and uh, we will bring you to the advanced level of the this big data technologies and uh, analytics and data science. Very soon we will be coming with the data science and machine learning part which is very and artificial intelligence which is very um, demanding products uh, like uh, technology in the next few years which is very important if you know about this to grow in your career. So thanks, thanks for watching and I hope you like this session.